So uh, Old Faithful has developed uh, an annoying fault actually, which materialised at the end of our last trip, um, which is this. Which, and if you can see there, the cables are rubbed through on injector number four, so it's complaining of low voltage. Um, which has come up on the code, and it read and it said low voltage number four. The glow plug light keeps coming on and the engine keeps hunting, so I'm assuming that, that this is failing and stopping injector number four working properly, hence making the engine hunt and me be underpowered, which is quite annoying. Um, so I've also discovered it on this one, injector number one as well. I have to remove the air box, which is what that is. It's still attached to the MAF at the back. So I can have a look at these and I've started un unstitching all of the wiring looms and that. Luckily I found someone that can sell me two of these for 15 quid and I believe they come with a bit of cable. So if I need to, I can chop that out of there, reattach and put them on. So I'm gonna buy them, I think. Um, I'm just sort of desperately scrambling to get this ready for two camping trips that we've got. Uh, end of July, beginning of August. So it turns out soldering is more difficult than I thought, or it is when you're in an engine bay. That one has been successfully soldered, and this one I had to give up because I was going to keep cutting my cable until I had none left. Turns out I'm just crap at it, but that seems pretty solid to me, although now my shrink wrap doesn't fit over it, which is annoying, so I might have to redo it. Uh, so this is where I'm leaving it tonight. Um, obviously one still not put in. Over here, see my fresh install works under there. I need to cover this all up. You can see I've reinforced the bits that rubbed, so that's not going to happen again. Um, and I've moved the cable rail up here for the other ones, so I'm going to find a way of probably just wrap that in tape on that, and then that just pushes down under there. But obviously, I found that my first one I didn't see the first time, I just saw those ones, and I just found that at the back, that's pretty bad, so I'm glad I bought two. I'll have to do the same with that one, and then uh, hopefully we're good to go. The two middle ones seem all right. I am gonna cover them in um, some tape of some form to protect them. I think they're both, yeah, I think they're okay, but I will cover them up before replacing the air box, and then uh, hopefully that'll be good. Right, so today, finishing that one, um, and I've got my mechanic friend who was doing a factory in my car while I was working. He did these for me, which you can see back here. He has uh, actually crimped them because soldering is just too difficult down there. Couldn't be asked. Um, so he's crimped them and heat shrunk them, and they're now tucked in there, which is nice. Uh, the van has run, so we haven't made the connections worse or anything. I'm just tidying them up now, um, trying to stop this happening again. Just put some tape on the, that one there and the one next to it um, and just tape this lot up and then we're good to go hopefully. Wow, right, well, I've managed to cut myself, but I'm done now. Everything's reinforced as it should, in brightly colored tape that's next to no exposed wire. So even if it does rub through, even on those two that weren't affected, it shouldn't go through the cable. Just gonna tidy that up, put the airbox back, job's good. One. on the dash, looking good.